Hello again and welcome to Better Building in Minecraft. So today we're going to talk about cities and putting them all together. So the first thing you want to do when you build a city is find a suitable landscape. So for me, I wanted a place that had like a river. I've got this kind of like jungle here and then I wanted it to make sort of like a frontier city. So it's kind of like they're, I don't know, like, like building on the edge of this jungle here where they're ready to like go in and explore and cultivate and cut down whatever so the first thing i did which may be backwards to some people is build the wall and that was just because i had an idea of how big i wanted the city to be and so i kind of followed the landscape you can see where it's sort of like in a little pit area right here and I just kind of went around the perimeter plunking down where i thought a wall would be just sort of an outline and then i came back and then decided based on the terrain how I wanted to do it and I'll, you definitely don't want to just make a big flat area because that's just boring it's just so boring and not realistic at all if you look at real castles they've got walls that just follow the landscape because they didn't have excavators and things like that so they had to just work with what they were given and you kind of want to keep with that same style it just makes things a lot neater because like I mean look at this there's like this little castle bridge thing here you know it's like that wouldn't be there if I just flattened everything. And so it's just kind of nice having that kind of stuff. So when we go inside, you'll see that the terrain stays in here too. It's not leveled. And you just want to keep that. It's just more fun. Sorry about the dog. So the other thing you want to look at is this is the keep. Now the keep I've placed somewhat central in this town. The town's a little lopsided. It kind of heads off that way, and I'll explain that later. But... Uh, so the keep would be kind of the central thing, or sometimes if you have a more symmetrical uh, outline for the city wall, is it, it could be along the back wall if you have like one entrance. This town has four, so I just sort of wanted it more or less in the middle. And I picked a spot that was relatively flat. There's a little bit of slope back here, but it wasn't too bad, and I just built the keep. And then I decided, well, I want the marketplace to be nearby. I've got a blacksmith there so he can take advantage of that marketplace. I put the church over here and now a lot of times the church is going to be close to the keep or um, in a rich district and they could have multiple churches depending on the size and so this is the rich district this is like kind of the medium district and you can see even in there it's pretty flat which is a little on the boring side but it does go up and then because I varied the house elevations like their roof height and levels and things like that it helps break up that flatness which is really boring um, graveyards they're also nice to put near churches so that's good that's the kind of thing you want to look at you want to think about how the placement of each object you know like the inn that's right here I've got it kind of close to an entrance because you'd want to be able to find it when you come into the city and set up where you're gonna live um, this is the merchants district now this should probably be close to where the blacksmith which is there and the market place there they should probably be close together but it was just a question of you know because I put the town wall up first I kind of limited myself and then I also for some reason felt I wanted a Coliseum and this thing is way too big a scale for this town it's just too big I mean it's like almost dwarfs the keep same with his library it's very large for a town this size these are pretty big now you could put these outside but then of course they're gonna get ransacked in times of war but you know Coliseum big deal doesn't really matter there's not much to steal there now this would be bad because it's like your whole town's like vault of knowledge would just get ransacked but who knows, you know, it's like, I think this just should belong in a bigger city, but I, eh, it kind of works. So, like I was saying, you just, you know, things like this, because of the terrain that was right here, there was this little mountain kind of hill thing, and I'm just like, what can I do with it, you know? And so I thought, oh, I'll put a little gazebo, and then I'll add some little river thing and some lakes and stuff, and just sort of dress up stuff and just make it nice. And then, you know, I added this nice little forested area in here so that's pretty cool too but what I was you know what I'm talking about is like the levels you just definitely keeping the terrain the way it was just makes things way more interesting way more unique uh, the other thing I want to talk about was making smart choices when laying out the town and what I mean by that is for instance I've got the barracks right here 
by an entrance and the keep. So it's like this is the closest one to get into the keep because it's also the main entrance in. So I've got all the guards between that entrance and the keep. So that way, you know, if they're under attack or whatever, they're right there. So that's just kind of the thing. And then, of course, you know, you got to have your, your little uh, bar right across the street from the, the barracks, and, you know, because they like to get drunk afterwards. You know, there's just, it's various things like that. You just kind of think of like how, like I talked about earlier, this church kind of in the rich district and near the, the keep. Now, if it's like a castle, you'd probably have the church in the castle itself, maybe like in the keep or near the keep. And this one's pretty small, so, you know, we just have it out here. So that even the king and everything would go here as well. But sometimes they'll have their own or they'll just have like their own little chamber that they can pray in or whatever. But that's if you want to follow the religious aspects of the build and whatnot. You know, that's kind of beside the point. It's not for better building. That's just for ideas and stuff. But I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, one last thing, I suppose, would be like the, the style. Make sure that you keep the style cohesive. I mean, like all of these are this waddle and daub style. You notice the roofs are a little different. Like this one, because it's more richer building, you know, it's got more stone like the keep would be. These ones are the ones that like the kingdom would invest money in. Say, well, we're going to sanction this and we're going to sanction that. And maybe the, the library and the Coliseum were like royal type built. The rest of these would just be people coming in and saying, hey, I want to buy this plot of land. I want to build my house. And they're like, okay, cool. So they would use cheap materials because they just can't afford to make it as high quality and strong as that kind of stuff. So it's something to look at. And also you don't want to mix too many different styles. You, you want to keep, I've got this kind of medieval waddle and dub style, like I was saying, you don't want to put like a Viking house in here or a sand hut or something. You know, it just would be out of place. Now keep in mind, I've got more poor houses on the outside. And that's to show like the little farmers that are like set up and people that are just kind of building around the perimeter of the castle. So that's pretty much what's going on here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to have another one very soon. Talk to you later.